Good morning, Sarah here. I'm going to talk to you today about a new launch for a new yarn that we've got that we're really, really, really excited about. You've seen all these fabulous colours. This is Vinnie's Colours, which comes to us from South Africa. Um, it's an incredible yarn. It was um, a company started in 2004 by a lady called Vinnie, who uh, was in South Africa and felt there was a lack of a cotton in the marketplace over there. And she started to do it from home. Um, she was literally dying in her own bath and drying it. On windows and so on and since then she has um, expanded the business it's now in a factory but it's in a really economically depressed part of South Africa and she employs local mainly ladies I'm not sure if it's all ladies but mainly ladies who dye it ball it it really is a yarn that, that's sort of handmade um, and we're really really proud that Vinnie's letting us stock it over here we're going to be the main stockist in the UK um, and there are 84 colors of this you can just don't count this because I'm not sure if all 84 are here because I'm not sure if anybody sort of wandered past and picked it up and I play with it. Um, it's 100% cotton yarn, there's 119 metres on each ball and it's a standard DK. It's something that bloggers use a lot in this country. We've actually got um, Kate from Greedy for Colour will be with us in September doing a book signing. Um, who's done, all, I think it's toys in her book which are all made in this. The patterns are all here. The patterns are all free to download. You can either there are some paper copies, but mainly you download them from Vinnie's own website, which is vinnie'scolorspatterns.co.za. But if you go onto our website where this yarn is, there is a link straight through to the website, and you can then download all the patterns free of charge there. Uh, there's lots of toy patterns, um, and then when you go on to there are some beautiful throws. And um, Stephen and I saw this yarn when we were over in Cologne in March, which you might have read the blog post on which is the biggest worldwide sort of exhibition of yarns. And there was a lady, we were recommended to look at them by Amanda from Little Box of Crochet, who I'm sure a lot of you will know. And Amanda's used them in her boxes. And we went over and met up with them and said, I just absolutely fell in love with it. How can you not when you've got all these colours? Um, it's a, it is absolutely beautiful. It is mainly used by crocheters and the patterns are mainly crochet. However, I've had a play with it and it knits beautifully too it's got a really really nice twist and a great drape on it it is all hand dyed so you do get a, 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 an almost slightly marbling effect it won't be like um the sort of more mainstream yarns that are dyed in big factories etc and they're all if they're in the same dye number they're all identical there can be a little bit of change in the dye but to me that just actually adds to the quality of the yarn uh, because you do want to feel like you're working with something really really unique um, and i just love the fact that this has, sort of, has given something back to the community as well. It's really empowered the women that work there um, and brought them huge economic benefits to their community as well. Um, so you can actually crochet with it and feel like you're doing some good, which I really, really like, this, like the idea of. Um, it is beautiful and you wouldn't be disappointed with it. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a close-up of the Nikim as well, because um, the Vinny's Colours Nikim, should I say, because it really is a lovely yarn. Firstly, this is the first project that's been done at Black Sheep Wool's in it, which is Eugene the Crab. Isn't he fabulous? Barbara from the Craft Barn crocheted this. Uh, we have an, a, a sort of sea theme going on in the shop at the moment, and she thought that would blend in perfectly. She is slightly concerned he's got too many legs. I'm no crab expert, but I don't think he has. There are quite a lot of toy patterns available. Um, Timothy the Tooth Mouse, which we think is maybe an alternative version to the Tooth Fairy. Uh, lots of bears. There is a ballet dancer somewhere where she oh there you go sam the bunny was cute and we liked rose the ballet bunny which i'm sure any little girl would fall in love with um, so lots of toys but there are also garments um, and some home projects this is one of the projects that was on the stand when we saw it in cologne that we fell in love with which was this throw and i just think those would be stunning in anybody's lounge um there are all the patterns are available free to download at vinniescolorspatterns.co.za. Um, so well worth having a look on that website if you get some of the yarn as well. The yarn, I just wanted to give you a bit of a close up. I was concerned initially when I took some samples away that it might split because it is a, obviously a, a applied cotton if you see. But when you're working with it, it doesn't. I've only had a small play with it. Um, I actually picked three balls up yesterday to take it home and make some flowers with last night. And when I sat down at quarter past nine last night, I couldn't find the yarn. So it'll be in the house somewhere and I'll, it'll turn up when I least expect it. So I've had a little bit of a play with it this morning. I've also knitted with it slightly and it knits as beautifully as it crochets. 
it does seem to me like it's coming up slightly bigger than I would expect it to. I'm quite a tight crocheter. Um, so do make sure you check your tension. There are some of the most beautiful colours as well. This one's really caught my eye because it looks like a sunset. Um, the yarn is hand dyed, so as I said before, it will come up with a slightly marbled effect, but that just adds to the effectiveness of it. 